Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is part 3 of the Augmented Reality OpenCV series. So far we have created our detector and used it to find the bounding box in the image. In the final part we are going to create the appropriate mask and then augment the image to overlay a video. We will also look at how we can stack these images together to show the complete pipeline. I upload videos on a weekly basis so don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you find this video useful. So let's get started. Now to overlay we have to go through a few steps. Now for that we have to create a mask. So we are going to say that mask new, we will say numpy.zeros and we are going to get the image. Uh, it should be the same size of our webcam. So I will copy this. And then I will replace this because the first one should be width and then the height and then we have to define uh, what type so numpy dot uh, unsigned integer of 8 bits so let's let's see how that looks like if we have done it correctly so we will say mask new and mask new uh, let me uncomment uh, comment out all of these and then we can run so there we have the mask and now what we have to do is we have to uh, color the area uh, where we have found the image as white so that will be our mask so we will say that cv2 dot fill poly and we will give it uh, the mask new and then we will uh, give it the points so as we have done before so we are going to use these points to fill and then we are going to give it a color so our color will be 255 255 and 255 this will give us a white color so let's run that and there we have it so wherever we have found the target image now it is white so we don't actually need this we need the inverse of this so what we will do is once we inverse this all of this will become white and then we can add these up to get all the colored region like this and then we will overlay the video over here so it might be a little bit confusing but we will go step by step so it is easy so we will write here mask inverse and we will say cv2 dot bitwise not and we will just send in our mask new and let me just show you that and now we have the complete white region and wherever the image is uh, found we have it as black so next we need to color all these white region with our actual image so we will say that image augmentation is equals to actually we did not declare image augmentation let's copy it from the webcam so this will be our final image so image augmentation is equals to our image webcam dot copy And then here we can uh, write cv2 dot bitwise and and we can send in the image augmentation and again the image augmentation and then we are going to send in the mask as our inverse mask mask inverse so let me show you what that will do um okay i will just paste it here just okay so now you can see that earlier it was all white and now it is filled up with this uh region 
wherever you have the colors it's colored all this part so the last thing we can do is we can add the the first image that we found which was our image warp so let me show you image warp So this is image warp and this is the mask new. So now all we need to do is we need to add them up and it should give us our final image. So here we can write image augmentation is equals to CV2 dot bitwise. And this time we are going to use or because um, because we have a black region. Let me show you again. So we have the colored region here and then we have the colored region here. So we need to add them up based on or so that it will add this over here. If we use and it will not do anything for us. So we have to use or. So we will write here image warp and then uh, image augmentation. So if we run that again and there you go so this is our final image that we are getting we have overlaid our image on top of our webcam so now you can see that we have a lot of images here and uh, it's getting piled up and it's a little bit messy so uh, we are going to use the stacking function to actually put them all together so a while back I wrote a simple stacking function that will help us do that. So let me copy that and I will paste it right above the while loop. So this is the stacking function. All you have to do is send in an uh, image array and give it a scale. If you want labels, you can add labels as well. So what we can do here is we can write here that our stacked uh, actually let's write image stacked image stacked is equals to stack images and then we have to give it an array so we will write in for example let's put just four images for now so we will write here image webcam and then image uh, warp let's say and then in the second line we are going to write image webcam and image warp and then we are going to give it a scale so let's give it 0 0.5 and at the end we just have to display one image which will be our stacking image So there we have it this is our stacked function so next we can add all the images that we want to see so we have our initial image so we had webcam we have image video image target so let's put these three in one line so image webcam uh, then image video and then image target and then we can put let's say image features and then which one um, let's say the mask or image warp will be nice yeah image warp is already there and then image augmentation so if we run that and there you go so now we have all these images in the same window now as you can see it's not actually moving and the reason for that is that we did not run our while loop properly this should be one in order to run it so let's run that and there you have it so right now you can see the flickering and you can see it's detecting so let me move it around and you can see
so next we are going to uh, augment the video instead of the image so first we have to find out whether the target is detected or not so what we will do is we will initialize uh, where should we put it let's put it here uh, so detection is equals to false and then frame counter is equals to zero so the detection will tell us whether we have uh, the target in our image or not and the frame counter will keep the number of frames we have displayed from our video so let's go down and the first thing we will do is we will write here that if detection is equals to false if we haven't uh, detected anything we have to initialize our video which means that we have to set it back to the zero frame so we will write my video my video dot set and we can use cv2 dot cap underscore prop position and frames so we will put that as zero and we will put the frame counter as zero as well so once it is detected the first thing we have to check is whether it has reached the maximum frames or not which means that the video has finished or not if it has finished we will loop it again we will put the counters to zero again so that it can uh, replay so for that we will copy the same thing and we will paste but we have to first check if it has reached the maximum frames or not so we will say that if our frame counter is equals to we will get the number of frames uh, that our video has so we will say my wid dot get we will get the number of frames cv2 dot prop cv2 dot cap underscore prop and we will say frame count so this will give us the frame count and if both of them are equal then we will put we will use this again so we will make it zero so that it can repeat and then we are just going to get the frame from our video so we will say success and then we will say image video is equals to my video dot read and then we will resize our image so if you remember this code is basically what we wrote over here where is it this uh, so we are reading the image and then we are changing its size now we already have this because we took the first frame so we don't need to repeat this line so i will just copy this line and i will paste it here so the final thing we have to do is we have to iterate our counter so we can actually right here frame counter is equals to uh, plus equals one so if we run this uh, it, it did not work because we did not define when the target is uh, detected so whenever the length is greater than 20 it means the target is there we will say that detection equals true spelling same or not I don't think so let me just copy this detection So if we run that again and there you go so now the video is been played instead of our image
So this is it for today's video. I hope you have learned something new. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.